Welcome again, techies. We're getting ourselves loaded up to saddle up and start taking off into the inner space of reality. Now this is, I believe, the eighth shear in this series, and there may be one or two more. There for sure could be one more. Let's see what we could do here. We're, we arrived at uh, page Samach Aleph in the Tivikabanos. I will be sending along pages so you can follow. So it says on number 21, so we're in a Kof Aleph, the second paragraph on that page. It says as follows. So after all of the spheros go back to the Ma'atzo, they start coming back a second time. Chutzmin the Kasser, Kaniskala Eil, with the exception of Kasser, as we mentioned previously. Vaz Kli Shala Kasser, Lo Na'aser Rak Bechazar Zachachma. So then you're, you're not going to get Kasser come back into the Kli of Kasser. Instead, you're going to get the Kli of Chachma is going to go into Kasser. Kika Shachazra Chachma, the Nikmas above, because when Chachma comes in, now it gets a little bit more detail, so we have to start listening more carefully. I'm going to try to, try to understand it. So when the light of Kes of Chachma comes into the Kli of Kesser, this is going to somehow contribute and make a complete Kli for Kesser. As Hika or HaChachma Berushima Shuchaniach HaKesser V'Mekoma Because as we said, Kesser left the Rushima behind. Now the light that's coming back for the, for the second time going downwards, V'hoya calls Kefulos. And it wound up that there are double smackings of each other. Lefi Shaharashimo Shal HaKasser, because here's the fact. The Rashimo of Kasser, the Hiyosa Bahinit Ad Yonim in a Chokma, since it's a higher level than a higher aspect than Chokma, because it's the Rashimo of Kasser. The Chain Hu Maka Bachma Motsia Nitsutsa. So therefore it strikes the Chokma, and that is the light of the Chokma that's now coming down. And you have this, it's coming down into a region where there's a Rishimo of a much more pure light. Well, that is the light of Rachmanus. But also the fact is that Chachma is going downwards. And we have an understanding that the flow from up above is the higher level than the flow going the other way. The Nimsa Omed al Rishimo, so therefore we see that it's coming down on top of the Rishimo, it's standing above it. Ruhukavo Memenu, and it's higher than it. Makabo, so it hits it. The Rishimo, that hits the Rishimo. The Yotsa Nitsutsa Sacheros, and it's a second set of Nitsutsa. So first, you have the Nitsutsas holding their territory. We said that probably they're up above the Kli. They're up above, that is, the Kli of Kesser. And now the light, it's standing there in a defensive position. Here comes the light, it's with territory, and it's going to smack it. But at the same time, the light that's coming down, it's coming from a higher place, and it's there first. So therefore, it's going to smack back at the Rishima. So therefore, you're making now two different Kalim. Echa the Rishima shall the Kasser. One is for the Rishima of the Kasser. And another kli that's going to be for the for chachma. So we talked we talked about this in uh, in the second parak. That you have actually a male female side in kasser. And these are the two that we're talking about here now. That is the striking. The Kasser, excuse me, the Rishimo, the Kasser strikes first, and it hits the oncoming uh, light of Chachma. And then it turns around that the light of Chachma, which is pouring down from the Pedaak, is now going to be striking the Rishimo. So these two, the Ayn Shem so look over there well. So let's go to the previous page. So I'm trying to move myself off over here, Kalmos. So let's look over here in number Kafal. So this is Kavar Nizvayar. We're reading only the light print in number Kafal. If it says Kavar Nizvayar, Ki kol ha-sfiruz nigmaru ki lechem be'esel v'yasem el When do they receive their, their makipipatish, their ultimate uh, completion? That happens when they're on their way back to the matzah, to the pad'at. 
because when they're going up, you have the striking of the or of Rishimo Shalasvira, or Hachoser Shalasvira Val Yonimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Ach mekeven she hachachma yotze aterem in the peh besod or yasher, but now, since we see the chachma is actually coming down onto the Rishima, v'hi lamala marishima shalakaser, and it's up above it. V'derika elio in the gavur alatachto, so the, uh, the upper light, his nature is to overpower the lower light. Gam im hu yoser chalush minatachton, even though its nature is that it's weaker. But because of the fact that it's coming down, it has the power of that movement. Gorem bezeh shahachachma maka ba'or ha'bashima shalakasas, and now this causes the chachma to strike the rishima of the kasser. Vaz yiplun atzotzos gam minakasser, and now you have also the tzutzos coming out of the Rishimo of Kasser. The Nimsa Shabakliya Kasser, Yeshnam Shte Mini Nitsutsa. So now it comes out like this. In Kasser, there are two completely different types of sparks. Shinafla Mishne Akaku Shal Rishima the Kasser, but or Chokma, you have now the Rishima of Kasser, striking the light of Chokma, or vice versa. Bishal or ha chokma but rishima the kasser, that's the versa, that the or of chokma is not striking. So in other words, one is overpowers the other one, and the other one turns around and overpowers the first one. And as a result of these two different kinds of strikings, there are two kalim that are made. In a way that the first one, the first kli, is going to be made out of the rishima shal kasser, and the second one, the one it punches, and is going to produce sparks from inside of that second one, he says that Kli Hasheni is the Ura Chachma. Sheba Ata Bihizpashta Shnia that is now coming down. Rishnei Mini HaKelim Alalu. So now you have these two different kinds of Kelim. One that made from Rishimo into uh, fighting into uh, Chachma, causing spark from Chachma. One, one Chachma coming down on top of the Kelim of the, of the Rishimo, producing sparks which are going to therefore make Kelim from that. So we say the shnei chelki al kesef. So he says the heim nutzorah shnei chelki al kesef. So now he's telling us a secret for another time that they actually in kesef there's two different parts. Shehim bepachin is dalka benot shepekesef, which is the concept of dalka benot for kesef. If you want to know which one is zachar, well, or yasher is always the zachar, but or chozer is always the 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 the, uh, the the female aspect. Let's go on now to number twenty-three uh, in the in the Rab. Uh, it says as follows: From here you can you will be able to understand. There is some relationship. Let me translate more carefully because now what he's going to start talking about is going to talk about the next shar. And this is a shar in which we have the shar in the kudim. Which is a shar in which we have a reference to the not reference, but we actually have the shmir zakelim in the next shar. So we need to know that. We need to know what's going on. Here we're at the end of Shara Kudin. We're going to be transferring ourselves a little by little into the Shara Nikudin. So he said, Hine Mikan Tuchulahabin Ech Yesh Gam came Baola Bakudin with Sias Bitla Malacha Bitsadma. So we see that in this there is a reference from the Ola Makudin. Some reference to the bitla malachim of the nullification of the kings, but tzadma in some way. In other words, it's just, there's a reference here, but it's not on the, uh, completely clear. Kadimian also malachim. So this is similar to the kings, shemalcha be'eretz Edom, that ruled in the land of Edom, shemesa ben isbatlu who died and were nullified. Kamoshi is boy of a command. We're going to explain it. There's a reason why he says Mesu and Nizbatlu. Because later we're going to see that there are actually two different kinds of ideas depending on where you're looking. And we're going to see these ideas. Kamoshi is boy of a command. We're going to see in Shara Anakudim. This is going to be after Wait to Parak Hayes. There's a lot of stuff out there. But Drush Olam Anakudim. There is a Drush in Olam Anakudim. Hine Inyan His Almus Aoru Shalakudim. The fact is. But the lights of the kudim are extremely hidden. They are deeply, deeply inside of reality. And as a result of that, we don't see them very well. And then they go back, as we say, into the pad to ak, which is a tremendously close area to infinity. That same act of the lights leaving where they are and going back to the pad to ak 
is the same aspect that we're going to see in the Malachim. We'll read this a little bit over here in the Tiv, try to get an idea of what he's talking about. So also there is this Indian of Tamim, the Kudos, Tagim, and Osios, which we call Takim, uh, Tanta. Ech Morim al Mises Amalachim. How it actually is showing us something about something really important that's coming up, uh, which is called the Mises Amalachim. Misham Tavim Gam Kain Mitsiusam Kan Baola Makudim. Dok Vatishkach, if you're going to look into it over there, you're going to be able to zeicha to get over to Olam Adikudin, you're really going to see something over there. So we have this one piece to read, and let's see how far we can go with it. So it says, we're on the left column on page Samach Beis. We're in the second light print. So he's in the Kandahalo, Ad Sof Shar Zad. So from, uh, from now on until the end of this Shar, which is coming up, it's really not talking about Akudim anymore. It's going to call about a different universe, which is called the Olam HaNekudim. So if this, what we're getting here, is like a little uh, preface to the Shar that's coming. So we've already explained that the lights of the Olam HaNekudim they come out of the mouth of Ak. And they are Just turn that baby off. It doesn't ring too much. Well, I guess I couldn't do it. the the Ak. So let me read this again, because again, let me see. Vihine Kavarnis Boyer. Shaorus Ola Marakudim Yatsam in a pair the ak. They came out of the mouth the ak. We've been talking about the pair the ak, the ma'atzel, we use all these words. But this partial are the tibershalo. And where do these lights exist? They exist down to the belly button of this ak. The Lachemikan Yatsa Oras Ola Manakudim Minanayim the ak. After this spread, that the lights ultimately come by, come out of the pair the ak, which, thinking back, it's called the achap. Which is the, uh, the lights of the Ozen, Chotim, Pe, Achap. So those lights reach down to the belly button of Ak. After that, there's going to be more lights come out, a different set of lights. This lights is going to, are going to come out of the eyes of Ak. And where do they go? They're Mispashe. Just the same way until they reach the Tibur of Ak, the belly button of Ak. But over there, we don't really count them by themselves. Because you are Akudim, because you already have a much more powerful nothingness light that is already there. Shahare Oros Ozen, because the lights of the Ozen is Pashto Ad Shabalas is a Khan. They come down to the bottom of the beard, the top of the beard, I guess, whatever you call the bottom of the origin of the beard. All of the is Pashtus and the Mata are the Tibur the Ak the Haim Ainam Olam Bishab is the Ak will say, Ki Sham Kavar be Irim Oras Olam Bat Hiria. Shahare Orasa Ozen because the lights of the Ozen is Pashto Ad Shabalas is a Khan. Orasa Hoitim is Pashto Ad Khaza, they go down to the chest of Ak. But Oras Hapeh uh, and the mouth, the lights of the mouth, which are coming, which are called the lights of the Kudim, is Pashto Adetibu, the Ak, they spread all the way down until you reach the belly button of Ak. Vicha called a Gilui Shal Oros and the Kudim, so therefore, since there's such a powerful light that is behind the Oros and the Kudim, so the way he's saying is like this on the inside, down to the Tibur, you have this light of Ak pouring out of the path of Ak. So you have all this going down here. On top of that is going to be another light that's going to come out of the eyes. Now as this light is coming out of the eyes, it's going to pass right straight past, we'll see a little detail in this, because it's going to pass these lights of the uh, Olam HaKudim. But the Olam HaKudim are so bright, in a negative sense, that they drown out the lights of the Nakudim that are coming out of the eyes. Now let's go on. The Ficha call ha gilui shall oros and the kudim who rock men the tiber the akalamata. So only where the lights of the achap are no longer visible. That's from the tiber going downwards. 
Bina Oros Ozen Chotem Peh on his karm, so the lights of the Ozen Chotem Peh. Hem Shlosh Pechino Shehem Baoros Atamem. These are three different aspects of what was called originally, if you remember back the Shara Tanta, which was originally called the lights of the Tamim. Shari Kavar Nisbaru Sheyeshtam Tamim El Yonim, which would be the lights of the Ozen. The Tamim Emsiim, which would be the lights of the Chotem. The Tamim Tachtonim, which would be the lights that are coming out of the Pedaak. Amnam the Or Sheyatsam in the Ranayim the Ak, but lights that come out of the eyes of Ak. Heim Ene Bechinis Tamim, they're not one of those three. They're a different level of light. Ela Bechinis Nekudos, they are Nekudos. So this would start to open up, not open up really. To mention big time secrets. So, what these things are, the So that's why, since these lights represent in the Tanta, they represent the Nikudim or the Nikudos, so therefore we're putting them here and we're calling this Olama Nikudim. But In this place, there is this great event understood by Shavir Sakalim. So originally, this is where you see in the Medrash. So we see that the, the Medrash says that originally Hashem created many worlds and destroyed them. So people think, well, there was an earth here, and then Mars has a world, and this and that. No, it's not talking about physical world. It's talking about the worlds that Hashem created before we got to, well, to where the Olam Atikon. But until we got to the Olam and Nikudim. Bahainu, let me read again. Shashlosh Sefirus Rishon of the Nikudim. Hoyelachem Kalem Gedoyim Vachazakim. Oh, I skipped something. Let me go backwards just a little bit. The first word on the line is on Nikudim. Hoyelachem Kalem Gedoyim Vachazakim. Shazer Amra Bemedrish. Shatakila Hoya Kodis Baruch Hu Bone Olamos Amach Rivim. So now we see that the Shvirus Kalem is really the idea, the secret that is behind the concept that's mentioned in the Medrash. Behind the Shah Shlosh Sphirus of Rishon is the Nikudim. So this is what we're getting at. The first three spheros of the Nikudim, which we're going to see as Kesachok Rabina. Hoyelachem Kalim Gedayim Vachazakim. They had very strong, very powerful Kalim. So they were able to hold their lights. Vachem Kaisher Niknusu Bechem Oros Lo Nishburu. So therefore, when the lights came into them, they didn't break. Masha'in came to Zion Sphirus Hatachtono. So this is not the case. Because the ten spheros, so the other seven spheros in the Olam Nikudim. Shohoi Kilech and Choloshim, they had weaker Kalim. Shohaz Kashar Niktasu Bechem Ha'ara, so then what happens when the lights from up above came into them? Lohoi Bechocham, the Svol as Godel Ha'ara, they didn't have the strength to be able to manage the great power of those lights. The Nishpuru Kalim and then the Kalim were broken. The Nafla Lola Mabria, and they fell out of the universe of. At Silus. Now, up until this time, we didn't have any mention of an a uh, universe of Atzilus. And so he said, he didn't mention it even here. But he says that there's an Olam above Atzilus, uh, of, of Bria. But this ca- happened is, is that the breaking of the Kalim fall, uh, caused them to fall away from being that close to the Ark, to the Ains of Barakul. Shrivs HaKalim Chosa Bechinus Misa. So this breaking of these Kalim is really the aspect of, of Misa, death. We can understand the death of everything. Came and show Oros this olive of Shorshim because the lights, which are the hues that are inside of the Kalim, they went up to their root. Dimya na Adam Matachton, this is similar to us. Shabishap, Yirasam, and Olam, when a person is excused from this world. Azain Nishmasa, Shiha, or Nistalekas, Begufa. So what happens is the light that keeps him alive, it leaves his body. And it leaves his body, and it goes back to the Elohim that gave it. The body, which is the vessel that held that light, oros, it remains without lights. The Zuki Bechidis Misaso, and that means you're dead. There's no light left in your body, that's where you're dead, it leaves. So this is all remised in this famous parsha of Vishva. Vishalach, the Pasa of the Eidoch and Malachim, and it goes to a Vishalach, let me say it's the right way to say it. The Pasa of the Eidoch and Malachim, I showed Malchul the Eretz Adam in the way that goes like this. These are the Malachim that ruled in the land of Adam. Shesham and Meso Sheva Malachim, because in that land there is a mention there of seven Malachim who die. 
a Ramaz in the Sheva Sphere is Tachton Shemesa, and this is really an allusion to the secret of the breaking of the seven lower Kalim, seven lower spheros. So since this Misa of the Malachim took place over here in this world, but there's also something. So since we see, as the principle is, is that you get further away from the Ains of Baruch Hu, the more wrappings around them, the more physical things become. So in the Olam and the Kudim, you see Mamish is a real, sh- real Shvira. But in Olam and which is Benimi to that, and really comes directly related to the pad, the Ak itself, on the, on the inside, you don't see it, but the same thing is happening. How is it? Behind the Shaha Oros, the Kudim, Shahoya the Kita Besocha Kalim, because originally we had a mixture of the Kalim and the, and the, and the, uh, the, the more gross, uh, what do we said, more thick part of the Kalim and the more transparent part, the lighter part, they mix in the, the, the more refined part left, that all of those lights, the best or better lights, all left. So this is a hint. This is a referral to what's going to happen in a new world. Which is going to be caused the aspect of Shvira in the Olam and the Kudim. Rakshav Olam Akudim, Amisa Choyse Behalam Gadol. Only then in the Kudim you had a very, very hidden type of Misa. Vehinech Yashem Shab Olam and the Kudim, Yesh Remez, the Dalla Vehin is Tanta. So we see in the Olam and the Kudim. Now we see that there's a Remez to the concept of Tanta. So his Kafish, Yuvor, the Kuman, we're going to get into this more. Kain al Zuha Derech. So there's also a Misa, which is Tanta, the Olam HaKudim. It also happens in Olam HaKudim, Shana Oskimbo. So we'll see that the concept of Tanta, Yudke Vavke, uh, different combinations of fours, uh, we're going to see many of them. They relate to each other in different kinds of ways. Okay, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this year.